1946 Ledrock Lane in Hyde Park, New York. It's a masterpiece on 10 acres of land, one main house and one guest house. It has almost 20,000 square feet on the interior for a family that does live in New York City. This is just two hours north by car or of course 20 minutes by helicopter or perhaps land your seaplane right there on the Hudson River, which is quite unique. Here in the foyer of the home. No details were spared here and the owners put a lot of thought into the materials that they selected for this home and wood is a really big theme. There are five different types of wood and this custom design table actually has those five different types of woods that are the theme throughout the home. The black lacquer, the satin wood, sandalwood, Camino Crespo and English sycamore. There are really countless types of stone that are used throughout the entire home. And on the outside, you have this really beautiful fossilized French limestone, but they didn't want to leave the limestone on the outside without bringing it slightly to the inside, which is why you see it right here on this wall as you enter. The designer wanted to wrap that onto the inside so that you're sort of bringing the outside in, which is another very big theme that you're about to see as we continue to tour through the rest of the home and take in the really beautiful perspective of the Hudson River. The home actually is one of only a handful of homes that is built directly on the Hudson River. You can never, ever again build a home on the Hudson River in this way because you must now be 100 feet or more away from the edge of the water. I always love a good sunken in living room and particularly one that has these incredible and expansive views of the Hudson River. This is a good opportunity to really talk about the inspiration that the homeowners had. They love the work of Frank Lloyd Wright. And as a matter of fact, have traveled the country looking at many fine examples of his work. As you can see, it's all about bringing the outdoor in. Here you have unobstructed views. On a clear day, you can actually see as far as the Appalachian Trail. The views as you see them are the views as they will be forever. The land on the other side there is land preserved, so it can never be built on. Speaking of architects or starchitects, shall I say, the roof of the entire home is a single membrane. And when this home was built, the only person that could do that was Frank Gehry. So Frank was hired to actually create that single membrane rooftop. I do want to note that this stone is completely heated. Everywhere where you see stone that's on the floor, whether it be on the inside, whether it be on the outside, it is heated. So snow in the winter, don't worry about it. Cold in the winter, don't worry about it. Here in the heart of the home, you have the dining room, which has got this beautiful custom Murano chandelier. You're surrounded by glass on both sides where you have the water view here of the Hudson. And then of course here, you're reminded by the fact that you do have a separate guest home. There's two bedrooms with two full bathrooms out there. The dining room is right off of the kitchen. Now, of course, the kitchen has the show kitchen, the prep kitchen, and the butler's pantry. I don't know why it is, but it's in this room that I'm reminded by Franklin Delano Roosevelt, who was born here in High Park. It's almost like I can see him as a, a little boy sitting here dining at this really beautiful custom table. But High Park, by the way, this is where the presidential Franklin Delano Roosevelt Library is. And the neighbors to this property actually are the Vanderbilts. This is an area where lots of wealthy families built their homes to retreat to. Uh, very different style of homes, of course, because they're more traditional and colonial in nature. Um, as beautiful as they are, they're just quite different because they're not this modern glass home that was inspired by Frank Lloyd Wright. Let's go inside the library. Lots of books on art and architecture, some of them that are earmarked because those are the pages that were the inspiration that ultimately became this home. I've got to point out this desk, right? It's very special and it's one of my favorite pieces of furniture in the home. Much of the furniture in this home is custom made, including this very special desk. It was inspired by Emile Jacques Roman, one of the most important furniture designers who's associated with the Art Deco movement. 
Well, this is the primary suite and what a splendid primary suite that it is. I can imagine what it's like to be laying down in that bed. You feel like you're floating on the river at this point. You have this outdoor room in this terrace here. You can also appreciate all of the other outdoor rooms that were carefully considered with the landscape and the river itself. You have really beautiful high ceilings in this room. You have a stunning sitting area where you can sit by the fire. You have a very generously sized primary bathroom that has some really beautiful amenities. I think the most special attribute is the eight foot round carved bathtub that's done out of golden travertine. It actually weighs 3,000 pounds. There's also a steam shower, a massive shower in there, double sinks, and plenty of room to get ready in the morning. The billiards room is a fine example of no details being spared in this home. You have all of these beautiful examples from the billiards table itself to the card table here that are custom made in this really beautiful wood that as I said, there are five woods throughout. Then you have that gorgeous stone which is backlit at the bar there. But my favorite thing about this room once again, is the perspective. You're now here at the water's edge and you're taking on the water from a different perspective than when we're on the upper floor. And it is just so peaceful and so serene. But there's even more on this floor to show, so come with me. So I've sold a lot of homes in my career. However, very few of them have had a private indoor pool and hot tub. Remember, this is a weekend home for the family that lives in New York City, so you have to kind of appreciate the fact that this is really all about resort living for them. It's about finding a place to come to relax and unwind and share with their friends and family. So you have this lateral living where you have this outdoor area as well, which is around the heated pool, which is sitting on the Hudson River. And behind that there, you have this really beautiful outdoor kitchen complete with smoker and grill and refrigeration and so on. You have all these little vistas and moments where there's just seating that was carefully selected and curated with special furniture that was custom made to take in those majestic views of the Hudson River itself. 